Good morning. Good afternoon, folks. Thanks for joining us today. Um, today's Zentegra Partner Spotlight, uh, we're going to go over enhancing security and workflow productivity and what that really means and, and how we can accomplish that in today's modern healthcare workspace. So by starting, let's, let's introduce uh, some of the folks I've invited um, to help with this webinar today. Uh, Mr. Steve Deere, uh, Senior Sales Director from Stratodesk, uh, Mr. Bill Chappell, old friend of mine from the past. He's Director of Solutions Enablement over at Stratodesk. Patrick Toner, another great uh, friend of mine from the past. Uh, he's Senior Account Manager over at LG Business Solutions. And last but not least, your sponsor for today, myself, Ray Anderson. I am a Solutions Architect here at Zentegra. And I want to introduce Zentegra. So Zentegra, we are a value-added reseller, or I like to say we, we're a partner. We're a true partner in the partner ecosystem. And we go above and beyond just being that software, hardware, you know, licensing partner that you lean on for solutions. We, we, we pride ourselves in being unique in that from the, uh, the beginning of our relationship with our customers and our community, we have a very strategic consulting services and a managed services practice or practices that are a part of that relationship with our customers and our community. Um, we, we have extreme depth and expertise in each areas or technologies that we serve and we sponsor. And along with that, we, we also pride ourselves in adding complementary assessments on the various technologies that, that we provide and we support. So these are, these are complementary assessments that we come in, you know, we have subject matter experts, real engineers, architects that come in for our customers and really go side by side or partner with you to really take a look at your environment, let take a look at your technology, validate it, make recommendations, you know, all the way down to doing uh, your your traditional SWOT analysis. So we'll help you to find opportunities, but also point out areas where you're doing really well in your technical landscape. Where this where this all began is. Our founder and CEO, Mr. Andy Whiteside, a number of years ago, really took a step back. And, and Andy is wonderful because he is a leader that started in the trenches with the rest of us engineers. And back when he was in those trenches, he took a step back and identified that there was some opportunity uh, with partners in the community. And really, we needed, he saw that we needed to enable our customers even more. We need to get tighter, not only with our customers, but also develop our communities. And so really that's what we've done from the beginning and it's all started with Andy Whiteside and he continues to nurture that, that culture. So enough about Zentegra and who Zentegra is, let's get on to some fun stuff. And so another uniqueness that we have that we bring to our customers and the communities that we support is, you know, we, we do annual events. Um, we are known for, if some of you on the webinar today know us, right, we, we are known for our Ford Bronco giveaways, really nice vehicles that, you know, we've raffled off annually to customers. This year, we've done something very, very exciting. And what we've done is we've put together a, a, a dream vacation for you and a guest. And this dream vacation will be in Hawaii. So I want to take a minute, not, not a minute, but maybe 15, 20 seconds. And I want to leave this slide here because I want everybody to focus on the URL for this giveaway but also the barcode or the QR um, scan code down in the bottom right hand of the picture. If you go to workhasnoboundaries.com, 
you can register for this dream vacation. And I encourage everybody on today's webinar to do that. Along with that, we are very active with our partners um, and, and the various conferences that are put on annually. And so starting this year with HIMSS, um, we are actually providing to our customers, folks that register with us, we are offering a 90% off for, of conference passes to customers. This conference this year will be from March 11th to 15th down in Orlando, Florida. Go to our website, register uh, into getting a free pass or not a free pass, 90% off. My apologies for that. And while you're down at HIMSS this year, come to our happy hour. Come to Zentegra's happy hour. Um, come and meet us, meet our team, meet your peers, collaborate with your peers, but also meet some of the sponsors, our partners in the community, LG Electronics, Stratadesk, some of the others that will be there that, that complement that workspace or that digital workspace environment. Our value adds what we call our VAR2 Dotto or I say next generation partner is, you know, like I said, the complimentary assessments that we provide. Um, these are assessments that come at no cost to you. The educational webinars and hands-on workshops, we're very active with these events that we put on and, and we host. Vendor Focus Podcast. Our CEO and founder is very active along with our leadership and our various solutions architects on our team and engineers. We're very active in having podcasts that we put out regularly. Along with what you just saw, not only HIMSS conference, but also other conferences, RSA conferences, F5 conferences, what have you. We can provide you with heavily discounted passes to those conferences. So something that folks really, really um, should um, consider and think about. In today's webinar, we have the opportunity to raffle off from EPOS and Adapt 300 headset. So this is really great. This is really, they make some really great technology, um, both headset technologies, audio video conference room technologies that are available um, to our, our customers and to the community. Now, after today's presentation, there will be a follow-up email to the winner of, of the EPOS ADAPT 300 headset. So with all that, what I wanna do is I wanna start with some of the top challenges in front of us in the healthcare space. You know, it, when it, it, it be, I say back, before, even before COVID, but coming through COVID and even continuing after COVID, we saw this uptick in collaboration and communication, a challenge. There had to be more collaboration and unified communications within this space. With that, there was a, a big push behind remote and mobile workforces. You know, how are we going to now take on that new, new uh, use case, right? Or that new challenge. But at the same time, we had to maintain our security posture and we had to continue to make sure that we were in compliance with the different regulations. Now with that, right? With, with the influx of these additional use cases, right? Or expansion of these use cases, we had to continue to provide flexibility and scalability big challenge. Now, at the same time, we also have to look at, you know, what are some of the integration options out there? Because with these environments, our existing environments, but also the new use cases that, that we have to support, we have to now look at advanced tool sets to help us monitor and manage these environments, as well as our applications. And I say the top of the list for all of us is the employee experience or the end user experience. At the end of the day, that's our focus. And so how do we do that? 
how do we support all of these new needs and requirements of our teams and still provide that, that exceptional employee experience? So our answer to that is the what we call the modern or we've called the modern digital workspace. And with that digital workspace, we are now able to provide a centralized platform, not only for our applications and data for our end users, but for those tools, right? And we can then provide those workspaces and now we can support those remote users or telehealth care, for example, remote call centers. We can now open up and provide a little bit more um, from our environments without, you know, from pretty much anywhere without sacrificing security or compliance. So now we are able to, with the digital workspace, we're able to bring in and protect that sensitive data, continue to protect, I'll say, that sensitive data and applications. But at the same time, now we also, you know, now we have the ability to easily scale and accommodate those changes that we identified in, in the previous slide with the challenge of, you know, now I have to support uh, remote users. Um, but at the same time, now we want to integrate tools to help support those challenges and the digital workspace. You know, we think of commonly we refer, look at, uh, let's go, I'll go to the next slide. We think of like solutions like Controla, you know, really great solution to help dig deep into and get into the weeds on the end user experience, the performance of our environment. And if something happens to be able to quickly go to pinpoint and go to the problem all the way to resolution. So with that, I'll take a step back and really, you know, let's take a look at the typical technical landscape for healthcare. Now this landscape also applies to other industries. But in healthcare, you know, we, we, we look at some of our digital workspace providers, whether that's an on-prem solution from folks such as Citrix, VMware, right, even Microsoft, to now where we're scaling into or expanding into cloud hosting environments such as Microsoft Azure, AWS, Google, right? And now in healthcare, we have our, our big main applications, Epic, Cerner, right? And along with those, we look at, you know, tap and go technologies from like Improvata, for example. So integrating those solutions together to start building out that technical landscape, that end user experience, right? And now it comes down to the endpoints. And in this webinar, we're going to bring to the forefront, we're gonna bring Stratodesk and LG Electronics, and we're gonna talk about how we can provide a hardware and software solution to help with that complication, that technical landscape. So as I mentioned, we really wanna to focus today on both a hardware and a software solution that that marry together very well and provide an all-inclusive solution for the end user at the end point. You know, you have LG Electronics providing a very robust, very sophisticated hardware platform, whether that's all-in-one devices, uh, whether that's remote or laptop devices. And then with that, you can now provide a no-touch operating system by a strata desk that really is hardware agnostic. So now if you say I use all-in-ones in this part of my healthcare practice, but I also have physicians that travel and they need a remote device, that's great. Now we could start to take a look at a solution that can accommodate that without adding additional overhead or complication to the environment. So with that, what I want to do is I want to turn it over to, I'm going to stop sharing. I want to turn it over to my friend at Stratodesk, Mr. Bill Chapel, And Bill will go into the Stratodesk solution and, and how they solve for some of the common challenges in healthcare and maybe even some more. So with that, Bill, I will stop presenting and I will hand the mic over to you.
Awesome. Thank you, Ray. And I think you guys should be able to see my screen. This is actually um, on a LG ultra wide thin client using the um, Stratadesk no touch OS solution. So I figured the best way to do this would probably be to do the demo through it. So let me go to a full screen mode. Um, Notice what browser I'm in here real quick, Ray. I didn't tell you about that, but we'll, we can talk about that later. But let me put this in the full screen mode. And I do. I, I really like that. I, I actually caught that bill. Okay. I think that, that's really cool. All right. So thanks again, Ray. That was awesome. Great overview. And thanks for setting me up. Um, and first, before I go there, I kind of wanted to talk about the Zentegra value add a little bit because... Um, I've been totally involved with that in several different angles. So I'm excited about this because this is our first session um, with Zentegra. Um, but also I'm, I'm friends and peers with Andy and um, that overview that you gave, that's exactly, um, that was fantastic, Ray. And, you know, I'm totally aligned with that thought process on, on trying to come up with a better solution for customers. And, and truthfully, I partnered with guys up in the Northeast, um, including um, Patrick Toner, who's with us, right? Um, and when I was at, I was on the Citrix side at that point, um, partnering with Zentegra in with some of my customers and, and some of them being healthcare. And what happened was the value that Zentegra added um, they really um, did a great job with some of my customers. And when I go and go to these, um, you know, these uh, industry meetings and everything, I still see my customers over there with, um, you know, with Jeremy and, and Tony and stuff. So, um, and actually two, two guys from Zentegra were on my direct sales team um, at Citrix. So I'm really excited, um, really like working with these guys. Anyway, my background real quick and why I'm talking about healthcare, right? Like, what, what do I know about healthcare? But um, I've been doing, uh, working with Citrix and thin client technology for about 30 years, most of it in the Philly to New York City area, some stretching out um, into Pittsburgh and everything in between. Um, and um, Healthcare has always been the biggest vertical for Citrix as well as for um, thin client technology. It's it's really the minimalistic approach because what I've seen is there are tons of use cases where a thin client um, would be a better fit um, than what they're doing. Um, and so while I go on this, I'd like you to think of I got two questions uh, to kind of ponder on as we go over this. And the first thing is, um, we all know how ransomware works. So one of the things is, as we go through this, I want you to kind of compare in your head how ransomware is going to react to no touch solution versus Windows. And then the second thing is, um, is this a security sol solution or is it really a cost reduction solution? So let me move forward then. Um, and so a couple, I'm going to bring up the, uh, Verizon data breach investigative incident report. I'm sorry. And it's kind of like the analytics that we get from a security perspective on, um, you know, what are the major issues and such. And the latest one came out and I'll kind of start off and then I'll go over the company mission because it, it, it kind of, um, fits really well with that. But in the latest Verizon report that just came out, 24% of the incidences had to do with ransomware. 95% of those, it was over a million dollars in order to get their company's um, information back. And uh, Verizon deemed it as the weapon of choice nowadays. The other interesting thing, the human element that's sitting in between 
the user in that operating system that are sitting there in front of, 74% of the incidents has had to do with human element. And they were targeted 84% of the time. The other interesting thing, especially since we're work from home and hybrid and such right now, is 83% um, come in externally. So it's very important that our BYO and our hybrid users have some type of extra security mechanism. They're capitalizing on stolen credentials, privilege misuse, human error, as well as well-orchestrated social engineering. And so with that, Strata that strives to provide the most innovative and secure operating system for any PC, laptop, or thin client connected to a modern digital workspace. So if we dig a little bit deeper, you'll see that we have two main components. Stratodesk never sold hardware. It's a software-defined um, solution. All of your settings and your hardened workflows are configured at the data center. It's an enter enterprise level operating system, much more in, in line with zero trust architectures. Um, it's got a SaaS based console, or you can also manage it yourself on prem um, or in the cloud. And it also has um, single image management capabilities, very similar to provisioning server or link clone on the virtualization side, but it has the same value. Um, it allows me to upgrade or downgrade um, endpoints. And in, a, in our case, we can do it globally. So it allows us to really reduce that um, risk window. We have our own Linux distribution. That's what the uh, no touch OS is. It, uh, being that we have our own distribution that provides for quick patching, the hardware compatibility is pretty crazy. I actually have a, a 15 year old Dell laptop in my lab here running on no touch OS and it runs great. Even the latest and greatest browsers and unified communication. Like I said, I'm, I'm uh, accessing Zoom right now on this LG Thin client. Um, and everything that you're seeing is through it right now. Um, it's easy to add third-party security tools. Um, we are actually viewing this through an island browser. It's an enterprise browser that um, Zentegra can, can patch the whole solution together, but it's simple since we have our own distribution to add components like that or Zscale or CrowdStrike to, to add security to the mix. It's read-only operating system and it's non-persistent. Both of those properties are excellent when it comes to security. So you have your choice, full screen or windowed. And we can connect to um, most every VDI, DAS, or cloud PC solution. It's got great unified communication. As you can see, it works great locally. We have a whole slew of browsers that you can execute locally. And then, um, you can access all of the healthcare EMRs, you know, Epic, Cerner, Meditech, all scripts and such. Um, the operating system runs on most all PCs, laptops, thin clients, Surface tablets, IoT, Raspberry Pis. But truthfully, the LG solution with Stratadesk is fantastic. I have it right here in front of me. Like I said, I use it daily. It, it's, it's fantastic. There's also a USB boot solution. So I can have a USB stick where I can go carry it around securely and it allows me to keep my BYO operating system intact, not interfering with what I have um, locally. Um, so then we have this management console, right? It's either SaaS or, or self-managed cloud or on-prem. It supports multi-vendors and multi-platform. What I mean by that is I can have multiple hardware vendors um, all managed under this one uh, console, as well as multiple platforms. Um, it could be thin clients. I could have X64. We could have Pi-based uh, devices. Again, 
all managed from the one single console. I talked about the single image management globally. It, the images are really only about three gig in size. So you can see it's much, much more efficient than what we're used to on the Windows side um, with some, some of the image sizes. There's uh, help desk automation. You have delegated administration as well as our back capabilities. So you can delegate who can manage what multi-factor authentication options, as well as remote white capabilities with um, no touch center. But really, let me explain the out-of-box out of experience. And, and this is where I want you to kind of compare it um, to what we're doing today. But um, the first time that a um, no touch OS device boots up, it's taught to go and look for its appropriate um, no touch center device. And what will happen is it'll automatically discover it and automatically register it. Um, Zentegra can help you configure that whole, um, that whole configuration. Um, then what I can do is create a policy that will automatically put this device into the proper group. Once it's in the proper group, the appropriate security policies and the appropriate hardened workflow icons are going to appear on the endpoint device, right? So that's the out-of-box experience. It's, 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 it's made more for a zero trust architecture than, um, than what we have typically. So Ray mentioned um, the challenges with operational efficiency in healthcare. Verizon mentioned user error a lot in, um, in the incident report. And so let's take a look at what happens when I install Windows. Here's my out-of-box out of Windows install for a BYO device. And we get, you know, we get social media and we get games, you know, compare it to what I, what I just described on the, on the no-touch OS side. You know, you get your malware and your trial software. You get clickbait news feeds. You know, I'm always scared of um, cloud synchronization or, you know, I hope Cortana is not on listening to our corporate conversations, right? So, um, you know, a lot of privacy concerns, um, non-workflow, you know, related information. Simple DR and HA, plug and play devices. Um, like I said, you have these hardened workflows. Um, no more, no less. We have quick boot times, so you can get to the work quickly. And truthfully, what I would do is I would look at integrating with Improvata for a tap and go and a single sign on. You could look at control, adding control up to help with um, the end user experience. And one of the things that you can do with being that we have um, a local uh, user interface on our own, is this, this can help with my, or migrating or transitioning over to cloud-based EMRs. I know they're, they're pushing that at this point. So I can easily um, and transparently to the user migrate from a VDI or DAS uh, type EMR to a native. Moving on to um, protecting data. Again, Ray mentioned this. So first off, when we look at security and compliance, you know, you can see the list. We already talked about a lot of these things. Um, but really, if you look at it, we have in transit um, and we have at rest security. And um, in transit is identical to a work device, you know, an endpoint device you're on now, right? All the ports are there that you need opened, um, you know, 443 and, and such. The only difference is we lock down all of those additional ports. Security at rest is really where the difference comes into play, right? It's kind of like a zero trust type versus a trust everyone and everything, right? First thing it does is ask you for an administrative password. So we're going to significantly reduce the attack service um, and the window of opportunity, read only, you know, versus full admin. There's no local data on these devices, which is really critical. Um, there's diskless options. You can encrypt the disk. And then 
um, some of the solutions, you can create what I call a purpose-built device, right? It auto boots, it might auto log off or auto re reboot. It might be in a kiosk mode so the user can't, can't move from that one specific or two specific um, workflows. And then, like I said, you can add your own third-party security software that's um, been approved. And if you look at it from a compliance perspective, HIPAA, PCI, GDPR, et cetera, being that there's no local data and there's single image management, it, it just simplifies um, any type of compliance issues that you might run into. We have our remote work and telehealth that Ray mentioned, um, flexibility and scalability as well. Um, my wife is in, is, um, is in the healthcare field and before COVID, um, she was not allowed to do any remote or any telehealth work. It was all in front of the patients. Nowadays, um, it, it, that's changed, right? And it's not going to go back. Telehealth is is great. Um, it 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 serves its purpose, and um, this really gives you a great uh, solution, right? So all different types of form factors. You choose the form factor you want. If it's a BYO device. Uh, I talked about the USB stick. We support um, all the different healthcare peripherals um, that you need to integrate. Um, Ray talked about that as well. And, and multiple device ownership scenarios too. Um, so we go to the different use cases, nursing stations or carts. You know, bedside brings the um, tablets into play. Um, we may have kiosks in, in public areas. We talked about telehealth. In the triage space, the simplicity, the plug and play, um, and the central management really helps out there. You know, back office and admissions is really more like um, what we typically, you know, more of a back office, non-clinical type workflows. And obviously it fits great there. Radiology, you want to make sure you work with LG on that one because of the high res, multi monitors, and, and, and ultra wide devices. And then the signage um, is really just showing, you know, there's a lot of IoT uh, that are driving those signs and, and digital signage and such. And that can also be uh, managed under that one umbrella. Um, so if you take a look at some of the healthcare wins, Again, um, it fits like a glove when you look at um, healthcare and, and thin client as well as virtualization. And take a look at that. We just recently, our marketing did a survey out to our customer base and look at that half a million dollars saved annually per a thousand no touch devices. Um, and you can, you can see we have some pretty nice um, wins there in healthcare. Um, some of our integrations, um, Ray touched on a lot of these. Um, and again, you can see we have a lot of under the security heading. So now we take a look at, um, you know, we, we take a look at some of the cost savings, you know, um, maybe you don't have to go and, um, repurchase endpoint devices every three to four years, you might be able to extend the life of that hardware. Um, you can lower the cost of um, what you need. If you take a look at those LG thin clients and take a look at the resource is, um, that are required, um, it's much different than what our, our current laptops are. And then you have software. Windows 10, and the life, October 2025, we got to start looking at that. And then we got Windows 11 hardware requirements. And then the H2 2024 Windows 11 is going to kick people out that were able to get in um, through the first. And then I also saw 16 gig uh, AI starter PCs coming out in, in the future. And then we, all, we have a whole bunch of outdated thin clients and, and thin client software that's not supported out there. All of these are, are um, ways that you can reduce costs. And then some software ones too. Um, is AV required? That's up to you. Um, 
can my local read-only browser or maybe this island browser reduce um, some VDI or DAS? Possibly. Could I reduce consumption costs with my AVD um, by executing secure browsing and unified communications? Yeah, you could. Um, management's included. Uh, a lot of different automations that I spoke about. And then we go to here. Um, so going back to my ransomware question, you know, again, you know, how do you think it would react when it goes to try to um, download and encrypt local data when there is none? Um, and then the other question, is it uh, a, secu a security play or is it a cost play? And then we have a free trial. Um, feel free to go and download and test. Like I said, I have it running on a 15 year old um, Dell laptop. Um, it also runs on the latest LG devices um, and anything in between. And once you have the trial, we're there to help. Um, and so Patrick, I guess it's up to you then. Why don't you take this home? I'll end my session here and you can uh, take it over. Thank you. Great, Bill. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, as I'm as I'm getting my my screen up here, you know, always a pleasure working with Bill. You mentioned in the beginning, um, you know, Bill and I worked together quite a bit up in uh, New Jersey and Philadelphia. Uh, Bill Bill had some legendary um, events uh, up in that up that way, and uh, it was always always a good time. So let me go ahead and share my screen out, and uh, just by way of introduction. Um, so my name is Patrick Toner. Um, I've been in the industry total, probably somewhere around 13, 14 years. Um, you know, we're going to be talking, obviously, uh, with a focus on healthcare today. And that was actually where I, I kind of started this journey. I was in IT, so I was an IT guy in healthcare, managing Improvada, managing, you know, the Citrix environment, uh, desktop environment, all kinds of different things. Um, and uh, over time, came over as a sales engineer. Uh, Full transparency, I've, I worked for a period of time for a Stratadesk competitor, uh, and then I went on to work for Zentegra. So, you know, I've been around these technologies a long time, and uh, now I've gone fully to the dark side from IT to sales engineer, and now as a sales rep at LG. Um, and, you know, but I'm really excited about, you know, some of the things we're doing at LG and some of the partnerships we have, including the one with Stratadesk and with our great partners like Zentegra. Um, who, who can just, you know, there's so much, so much to talk about, but we're going to, we're going to kind of hyper-focus that today on healthcare. Um, I always like to start with a question though. Um, you know, I ask people all the time, what do you think of when you think of LG, right? And it's a good question. And most of the time, what I get is I hear things like consumer electronics, right? Televisions, uh, refrigerators, washers, dryers, um, that's what people think of when they think of LG. It's, you know, we're a household name. We're, you know, a mainstream brand name. Um, by the way, I, uh, if you don't have an LG OLED TV, um, I don't sell them at all. I get zero commission on this, but phenomenal picture. I have one in my living room. Um, definitely the number one TV out there. Um, and that's what we're known for, right? We're known for having great consumer electronics, especially known for our televisions. Um, and, you know, and, and, and the quality of screen and picture that we have. Um, and LG is a, a global company. We're, we're just a very large company. Um, we're going to talk about, um, you know, we have a consumer side, we have a business side. Obviously, I'm on, I'm on the enterprise business side, um, and I'm, I'm specifically focused on IT endpoint, um, which we'll, we'll kind of talk through. But, you know, obviously, LG is just a much larger company. We're global, based in Korea. We have a U.S. headquarter um, right outside of New York City. Um, we also have uh, satellite headquarters in Chicago and L.A. in the U.S., so you know, just again, we're just a large company. And, um, you know, and that's been, uh, you know, we're just well known as a company. Um, now, as for as for kind of my group and the things that I work with day to day, most of what, uh, we're, you know, I'm on the IT business solution side. And my, my main focus with the team that I'm on, we focus on really a few things, one of them being monitors. Um, so LG has been in, when you think of IT, maybe some of you on the call, um, the way you know LG in our space is through monitors, right? Because again, similar to the consumer side, the displays are, are really what sets LG apart. So, you know, we, we've been in the, um, in the enterprise for a long time, even before we had our own monitors. In fact, um, if you've seen any monitor of any brand, whether it's Dell or ViewSonic or whatever, and it says IPS on it, 
Uh, that's actually IG technology under the hood. Uh, LG makes the glass, they make the parts, uh, and we've OEM'd them out to other manufacturers. We do that today uh, as well as making our own monitors. So a lot of times it makes sense if you're, if you're buying those other brands to consider LG, it's usually a cost savings and, and you're kind of going right to the source of the technology. Um, so monitors is obviously a big business of ours. Um, we also have the, the LG Gram laptop. Um, this is one that not a lot of people know about today, but LG has a laptop. We've been in this space about five years now, um, and we have the lightest laptop, lightest enterprise laptop on the market. Um, you're starting to see these in, uh, even on the consumer side, places like Costco, Sam's Club. And when you're walking out, um, you'll see it by the, by the devices, uh, by the laptop devices. And if, if you're ever in that position, I encourage you, I had my wife do this, just feel the LG Gram next to the other devices, feel how light it is. Um, and not just light, but how well built it is. Um, so I'd encourage you that. We're going to talk about the gram a little bit. And then the other main area that, that I focus on are the cloud devices, which is what we use here. We, we say cloud device. What we really are talking about are thin client devices. And, you know, and we partner very closely with Stratadesk uh, with the No Touch OS. Um, you know, and we have a, a few different options we'll go through. But before I, I jump there, I want to highlight one other thing, which is medical displays. Um, this is actually not my team, but I like to bring this up when I'm talking to healthcare customers. Uh, LG has an entire medical display business as well. And similar to our regular monitor business, um, LG has OEM'd the parts for a lot of the mainstream brands of medical display. So the largest brand, the one that has the most market share, um, they actually use LG parts under the hood. And so a lot of times when customers, uh, when, when, and these, these medical displays, by the way, they're, they're very expensive displays compared to normal monitors. Uh, and and they, they meet all of the different um, requirements that when a doctor is diagnosing a patient, it has to meet a certain spec, you know, when, when, you, when you consider things like, um, you know, malpractice lawsuits and, uh, you know, just regulations around healthcare, it has that these monitors have to be to a certain spec. So there's not going to be a misdiagnosis, that everything is, is up to the standard it needs to be. So LG um, has OEM parts to the other guys, but now we have our own medical displays as well. And a lot of times our healthcare customers, when they make that transition, there's a, a, a very large uh, cost incentive for them to do that. They usually save a lot of money and they're getting, they're going again, right back to the source, the, the people who are actually making the, the stuff under the hood anyway. So if, if that's you on the call and you're in this line of business, definitely reach out to, to us, reach out to Zentegra. Um, they're, they're, they're big into this, uh, this part of the business with us. And we'd love to talk to you about that. Um, also, I'll mention our, we have a projector as well. We have phenomenal projectors, everything from a portable 1080p up to, you know, uh, just large 4K, uh, 4K projectors. Um, so we, we have a whole line of stuff there that it, it's, you know, definitely check that out if you're, if you're interested, whether we're personal at home or also we have it for the enterprise. Um, but as far as our cloud lineup goes, you know, kind of going again back to the LG kind of uh, DNA. People think of us, they think of displays. And that's how we got started in this space. So we originally entered this market with a, with a Teradigi Zero client. Um, and we had a lot of success with it. You know, it was, it was driven by customer demand. They said, hey, look, we love your monitors. We need a Zero client. Okay, we came out with one. Uh, we then pivoted from there and came out with a 24-inch all-in-one thin client um, that can run a, you know, a, a non-Windows Linux West. We also have a Windows version of that as well. Um, and we've kind of branched out from there. So today, you know, based on customer demand, um, we are hyper-focused on the space and we've created a lot of different models of our devices based on what the customers have asked us for. Um, so for example, um, you know, I mentioned the 24 inch all-in-one, but we also have a healthcare version as well. I'm going to highlight that a little bit more in depth, but this is an, an incredible solution that wasn't there back when I was in healthcare. If it was, I would have bought thousands of these. Um, because it's such a such a an awesome solution. Um, we also have a 27 inch and a 34 inch all in one. Um, by the way, all of these all in ones come standard. They have built in webcams. I'm actually working on a 34 inch all in one right now, similar to Bill. Um, this is what I use uh, every day when I'm uh, you know when I'm working from home. Um, uh, in fact, uh, we we at LG we are 100 percent a Citrix shop, so we we actually connect to a Citrix environment within Azure. Um, and all of our uh, employees all over the globe, that's how we connect. So I, I connect from an LG 34-inch all-in-one, um, and that's what I'm, I'm working from right now. Um, the other thing we've done, if you go all the way to the left, I kind of went a little out of order here. 
Um, we also have a small form factor uh, traditional thin client as well as a line of mobile thin clients. Uh, and these are based on our LG Gram laptop. I'll talk about that a little bit more. Uh, one of the things to, to note though, all of these different things I'm showing you, um, what, what we do at LG, we have a different approach um, where some of our you know, hardware competitors in this space, they have, they have devices like this, they have thin client devices, but then they also have their own thin client OS. Um, and LG, we kind of came to the game a little later than them. And what the reason we don't do that uh, is what, what really you find out, out in the wild and what a lot of our customers will tell you is they'd rather have people that are hyper-focused on their side of the fence. So we focus completely on building great hardware and we build different form factors. I mentioned the healthcare all-in-one. I mentioned the mobile thing client. These were all uh, driven by customer demand and people asking for these things. And so we, we just focus on building great hardware and partnering with software vendors who are hyper-focused on building great software. And so that's, that's really where the, the partnership with Stratadesk was birthed. Um, you know, it, it, it really makes for, and a lot of times, a better solution than another company that might have both solutions, but ours are actually more dynamic. And the reason for that is because of partnership and because we're just focused on doing the best in our space. Um, so I should mention all of the all of our form factors we get we are certified with Stratadesk no touch OS and we can also uh, ship them from factory with the image already on there and that's a huge thing in fact we just had a, a big win together last year um, I, I, I won't name the name of the customer but they're a very large life sciences company um, and they had uh, actually some of our uh, traditional zero clients uh, their VMware Horizon shop. They were using zero clients to connect to that environment. And as you may have heard, VMware's made an announcement. They're no longer going to support these, um, you know, the, the existing uh, Teradigi zero clients that are out there in the wild uh, past the end of next year. So this company said, you know what, we have to look at alternatives. So they, they looked at, uh, they, they reached out to us. They, they loved their LG zero clients so much. They said, hey, we, what do you have? We kind of walked them through some options. Um, they did a bake-off with a few different solutions, including Stratadesk and a few of their competitors um, and they ended up saying, listen, we love, we love the Stratadesk solution. They especially loved how Stratadesk had a SaaS management solution, um, which kind of differentiated them as well as a couple other things. Um, and in a few weeks, they were able to vet out the solution. They were able to say, hey, look, we're able to connect to our VMware environment today. And on the back end, they said, you know what, we're actually going to migrate to Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop. But the beauty of this solution, the beauty of LG running Stratadesk No Touch OS, is they had that flexibility. They could cut over live to their existing VMware environment. And then, you know, in a few months, they can cut over to their Microsoft Azure virtual desktop environment, and it'll all be seamless using Stratadesk uh, management. So, so just a really great win. That, that customer, by the way, they ended up buying 2,500 net new devices, 2,500 licenses of Stratadesk. Uh, and, you know, and we had all of them flashed at the factory, shipped to the customer, and it's just plug and play for them. They're plugging it in. It's automatically connecting to the cloud management and their customers, about a thousand of them who are actually working from home, they're just plugging it in and they're up and running. So it's really, really a great win and just a great um, story that kind of you know, shows you why, why we do what we do, why we partner together and why that's a better experience for you, the customer, you know, in almost every instance. And so you know, a couple of the, of, the, of the devices, I'll just kind of touch on them quickly here. Um, what we've done with all of these devices, so it's, whether it's 24 all inch all-in-one, 27, 34, whatever, um, we have different tiers. Um, so if you're a heavy Teams optimization shop, we have a higher end uh, processor version with eight gigs of RAM. Most customers don't use that. However, we do offer it because there are, there is a, there is a big need. Um, and but the rest of them are you know our standard Intel processor uh, quad core with four gigs of RAM, um, and that's what most most customers use. Again, these these all have built-in webcams, and as you see here in the picture, they all have matching second monitors. So this is really this is our number one selling uh, solution is the 24-inch all-in-one with the matching monitor. Uh, the customer I just mentioned, that's exactly what they went with the 24 and the matching monitor. Um, it's just a very clean solution, not a lot of cables. Um, you know, it just, it just works very well. And to the user, they don't, they don't even understand that one's a thin client and one's a, to them, it's just, they have dual monitors and it just works and they can connect to their work workload and they can get things done. Um, so the, the, the end users generally just love, um, this type of thing. The second fastest growing use case that we see 
is um, with our mobile thin clients. So we came out with the LG Gram five years ago. Um, this is, I actually have the first generation LG Gram. It's my personal device. I'm, a, I'm an old Linux nerd, so I run Ubuntu on there. Um, and you know, it, it still runs great, you know, and I love it. Um, we've now made a few different generations of, of grams, but one of the things we did, customers said, look, we love the lightweight gram. However, we want something with less spec at a better price. So we took that back to management and LG, and we decided saying, look, we're going to go to market. We're going to take the LG, um, you know, uh, gram form factor. We're going to make it into a mobile thin client and we're going to partner with our partners such as Stratadesk. And so what, what these are is they're an I3 based device, eight gigs of Ram, and um, we, they come in three sizes. So we have a 14 inch, a 15 inch and a 17 inch. So depending on what size you want, um, and we also have a, an accompanying USB-C docking station. So these are very, very um, popular. Um, similar to our grams, they're super light. They're under three pounds. They come with adorable adorable um, casing. Uh, it's, it's not plastic. Sometimes you look at it, you think it's plastic, so you feel it, and you're like, oh, what is that? It, the, what it's called is nanocarbon magnesium. Super, um, super durable, and it actually meets military-grade requirements. Uh, they all, by the way, come standard with a back of a keyboard, which is a huge thing. I don't know why anybody makes laptops without a backlit keyboard. That's a, that's a side rant for another day. And you're also going to get incredible battery life on these over 20 hours, a lot of times. Um, and, and really when you're not running windows, even longer than that. Of course, I mentioned we have a small form factor. Uh, this is you know great when you're talking about the carts on wheels. If you already have a cart in, in say your healthcare organization, and you're just looking for something small to put in there, this, this a lot of times works as well. Um, so this is, you know, kind of your no frills device, but Still a lot of demand for this one. Um, people still like the, um, the small form factor. I'll mention one thing on this one because it's basically the same hardware as our 24 inch. This comes standard with a mounting bracket and optional wireless antennas. So it's just a great enterprise solution. Um, you don't have to buy anything extra. You just unpack it. And when, when you need to put it on the back of a monitor, that bracket's in there. The wireless antennas are there. It, it's fantastic. Now, the one I really want to highlight here, um, you are, uh, you know, a lot of times in healthcare, um, you're, you're using Improvada. I, I was actually, I mentioned earlier, an Improvada admin. I used to run the Improvada infrastructure for a large healthcare um, chain up in New Jersey. And so I was day in, day out, just dealing with Improvada. And a lot of times, and some of you on here know this pain, you have these little Improvada badge readers that you're basically Velcroing onto a, a cart or you're Velcroing onto who knows what you're Velcroing it to sometimes onto the bezel itself. Um, and it, there's so many issues with this. Sometimes the arms that hold the monitors pinch the, the cable going to the, to the badge reader. And that next thing you know, you have a support ticket. And so what we did is we, we looked at this whole problem that the healthcare industry faced. And we said, let's take one of our 24 inch all-in-ones. Let's make it medical white. Let's give it a power supply that's standard with what people put on the carts. And let's put the Improvada uh, tap and go reader in the bezel of the device. And so when you see, when you see here in this picture, that LG logo, where you see the LG logo, that's where the doctor or the nurse would tap, tap in and tap out on that device. So this is an absolute huge device in healthcare. Pretty much all of our healthcare customers that are, that are doing VDI, they're using this device because it's just such a powerful device. It solves such a big problem for them. Um, and it looks great on the, on the carts and it looks great in the clinical rooms. So this is, a, this is definitely a, an area where if you're in, in a healthcare organization, and you're looking for a solution, this is an, a phenomenal solution. And whatever, whether your, your workloads with Epic or Cerner or whatever, or in Citrix or VMware or up in Azure, um, you can use these LG devices. You can throw an operating system such as no touch OS on there and you're, you're up and running. The end user, they, they love these. They love these devices. Um, so this is definitely our number one seller in healthcare and the thing that, um, you know, that I'm most excited about being former healthcare uh, because I, I just see the light bulb go off every time I talk to a customer about this. Um, now switching gears, you know, just one last thing I'll mention. I mentioned the LG Gram. I just wanted to highlight this because this is the fastest growing portion of our market. If you, if you haven't seen the LG Gram, you have to check this thing out. It's like, I mean, when you hold it for the first time, you can't believe how light it is. And how much, how powerful it is. You know, I actually travel around when I'm not running my 34 inch all in one at home. I have a, an, a 17 inch LG gram that I travel with on the road. 
And I've, I've been to multiple different Zentegra uh, marketing events, and I've actually taken it out and passed it around the room, which is slightly nerve wracking, but I, I do have confidence in the, um, in, in the, the adorable frame that it has. Uh, so I do it anyway. I, I pass it around the room and people are blown away. They've never seen a laptop this light and this is beautiful. Um, so we, we've really taken, um, we have all different form factors of this, by the way. We have a two-in-one version that looks like the, the Surface Book where it you know, flips around into a tablet. Um, we have all different specs from an i5 with eight gigs of RAM up to you know, an i7 with 32 gigs of RAM. We even have some with, that, are, that are coming to the market um, this quarter that have uh, high-end NVIDIA graphics cards in them. Um, so whatever the spec you have, they all come standard with backlit keyboards and they're all just beautiful devices. So if you haven't checked one out, definitely reach out to us, reach out to Zentegra. We'd love to get you a demo of this. Um, I know this is going to be a big year for laptop refreshes across all organizations with the move to Windows 11. And we can, you know, it's, it's a good time to, to evaluate that. A lot of people don't know that LG's in this space. And once they find out, they're like, well, let me check it out. The other one we can, this is a brand new offering. This is the LG Gram Super Slim. This thing here is actually, I mentioned the other ones are all under three pounds. This one's actually about two pounds. And if you want to wow one of your business executives in your organization, put one of these in their hand. They're going to feel how light these are. They have, by the way, they have a 15.6 OLED screen. So it's a, it's a beautiful display. Um, we have two models, an i5, and we have an i7 version of this. Um, they come standard um, with 16 gigs of RAM. These things are just absolutely beautiful. When you close this, it's actually as wide as a AAA battery. So, I mean, they're just so slim, so beautiful. And again, they're durable because of the material that they're built with. So even though they're light, um, they don't feel cheap or flimsy. They're very, very well built. And I also mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. We have this, what we call the USB multi-hub. This is basically a USB-C docking station. Um, so you'll see here, it has you know two USB-C ports, two traditional USB-A ports, got an ethernet port, two display. Um, this thing is awesome. And it also does power um, delivery up to 90 watts. So this is just a really great device. By the way, our customers get these for a lot of times under somewhere around under $80. So when you compare it to what's out there on the market, um, very cost effective. And, and we didn't even want to come to market with this, just to be honest, because these are so universal. I mean, people, you can plug one manufacturer's into another, chances are it's going to work. But our customers said, no, no, if we're buying LG mobile thin clients or LG laptops, we want to have an LG docking station. So we said, okay, great. You know, again, listen to the voice of the customer, went back and, uh, and this is what we came up with. So um, it, we're excited about this. This is just a huge deal. And, and by the way, it, whether you're doing mobile thin clients and you, or you're doing traditional thin clients, a lot of people with this hybrid workforce now, they're going to kind of more of a hoteling um, type of environment where their users are coming into an office maybe a day or two a week or more. They're sitting down wherever there's an opening. If there's a nice, beautiful LG monitor sitting there with the, with the L, L, LG USB multi-hub, they just plug and play. They're plugging in and there's the workload up on the screen. When they're ready to go home for the day, they unplug and they, they take their device with them. So we see a huge shift in that type of a, a workflow. And, um, and, and, and that's, you know, we have the, all of the different solutions that make that possible. So if you have any questions, definitely put them below in the chat. Um, We'd be happy to answer them, either uh, myself, Ray, or Bill. And um, I just thank you for your time, Ray. I'm going to go ahead and pass it back over to you. I may have went a little over there. Uh, I've, I've been known that I, I do like to talk. So, um, but yeah, I definitely appreciate the time, everybody. And um, yeah, look, looking forward to, uh, you know, to maybe meeting some of you in person and, and answer any questions you might have. Right on. Thank you, Patrick. Great job. Uh, Matt, we're going to go a little bit over, folks. Um, if, if those that can stick around, that'd be great. I want to give Max Ortiz from Epos an opportunity to talk about um, their audio solutions, right? And, and like I said, you know, one of the raffle prize that we have today is um, one of their headsets. So if you could stick around, please do. If not, we understand. Um, go and, and register on our site for the events and our giveaway, a vacation giveaway. Um, and with that, Matt, I will go ahead and let you take um, take presentment and talk a little bit about uh, your technologies, your company, and then uh, bring it home for us. Yeah, thank you uh, very much, Ray. Um, so I'm one of the uh, channel account managers here at EPOS. Uh, Zintegra is one of the uh, trusted value added resellers that we work with. We don't sell direct, so we work with uh, partners like Zintegra, 
as far as uh, selling our uh, audio and uh, media uh, solutions. I'm gonna share my screen real quick and we can go over the uh, slides I have here. Okay, uh, Ray, can you see that screen, uh, EPOS and video? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, to tie everything up with uh, within the healthcare uh, vertical, um, collaboration and communication is key. Uh, and not just that, uh, for professionals uh, having high quality um, premium audio with uh, headsets and video collaboration, it's essential. And uh, we have three main products, product lines that cover the, uh, the people who will need that. In the meeting room solution, we have our expand line in the uh, front office staff and healthcare professionals, we have our impact and adapt line. Uh, those are in wireless and wired headsets. And in the uh, medical professions and clinicians, we have the uh, impact line and adapt. A little bit about EPOS. Some may not know who EPOS is, but uh, it's a company that was born um, in 2020 with the uh, collaboration of uh, Sennheiser Communications and DeMont Sound. Uh, DeMont, uh, they're one of the leaders in the healthcare as far as uh, hearing aid with our company, um, our sister company, Oticon. So we do have um, uh, some know-how in the healthcare industry. And um, in 2019, Sennheiser and DeMont, um, I'm sorry, in 2020, we uh, emerged from uh, DeMont and now um, from Sennheiser. Now we're fully owned by DeMont Sound. And these are some of the companies that are trusted by uh, EPOS. Uh, in the industry, it's um, having excellent audio and video. These companies are trusted in, in, our, in our products. Our headsets are used in the NASA space station and other healthcare industries as well. In communicating tools and supporting healthcare, um, some of the uh, physicians and front office uh, people, they need trusted um, headsets in our technology. We have uh, Brain Adapt technology, which is a group of, of technologies that um, help you collaborate with our active noise cancellation technologies. And we say we hear with our ears and we listen with our brains. So the brain is constantly scanning its surrounding, distinguishing disturbing noises and focusing on uh, other things. So with having um, premium audio helps you uh, get better focus on what you're doing and also our, um, some of our products like our SDW products and deck technology provides the extra security in the headsets. And this is our DAP line. It's more of a um, focus on modern workplaces. So um, adaptive type headsets with Bluetooth technology. Some of them are uh, wired and wireless. The one that uh, the gentleman using there is our DAP 600 series. And the one we'll be giving away today is the ADAPT 300. So it's a, a wireless Bluetooth headset with active noise cancellation. It allows people to work anywhere, any place. So if you're working in a cafe, library, subway, or even from your home, you have a trusted headset so they can provide you with that type of uh, sound quality. This is our expand line. So, um, whoops, sorry. Right. Our expand line um, helps people in the meeting room and conference room, uh, conference room collaboration. So we have video and um, audio type solutions. The expand five, for example, is our um, it's for larger conference rooms. Can be up to like twenty people. It's all built uh, all in one conference room bar with video and audio. And then we have smaller ones for like um, smaller rooms, the Vision One M and the Vision One as a webcam. And uh, this is the headset we'll be giving away. It does come in white as well. So if you're interested in a white um, 300, we have that available. And uh, with Zintegra, we can help provide any type of uh, analysis on what you're doing as far as the audio solution. We provide free product demos. So if you, uh, it's a headset or an audio solution you're looking to try out and look into a little bit further, uh, we can definitely help you on there. We know that UC endpoints, sometimes um, what we call endpoint peripherals are sometimes the last thing uh, people consider as far as um, an overall solution. 
But again, tying everything together with audio and video, we see it, uh, especially in the, in the new modern workplace with hybrid work. It's something that's essential and uh, key to, uh, to provide not just great customer service, but also provide that uh, productivity for your uh, employees. And with that, Ray, I'll stop sharing. Thank you very much. And of uh, any questions, you can uh, certainly reach out to me. Um, I'll provide uh, my email contact afterwards. Right on. Thank you, Max. I appreciate that. Thanks, everybody, for joining today. This is a wonderful. I know it was a lot of information to unpack. Um, any additional questions you might have, you know, if you want to demo these solutions, please feel free to reach out to uh, your account manager at Zentegra or Zentegra team. Um, my, my contact information will be provided as well. Reach out to me. And we can go over the technologies, you know, we can help you trial it, um, the different technologies individually, but as well as together. So once again, I appreciate it. Look out for that email um, it, it, for the folks that are the, for the, the lucky person to win the EPOS 300 headset. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Look forward to hearing from you again. Thanks, folks. And uh, with that, the webinar will end the webinar now. Thank you.